Let's talk about five signs that your teeth might not be as healthy as you think. Hi, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist here to talk about signs your teeth might not be healthy. And before we get started, make sure to get my free oral care guide. Click the link in the description below or in the pinned comment to join thousands of people who have already discovered all of the essential components for an effective oral hygiene routine. This guide is an action plan for preventing and maintaining a happier and healthier smile. And having said that for today's video, let's talk about five signs your teeth are not as healthy as you think they are. Starting with number one, bleeding gums. Gums should not bleed during regular activities such as brushing or flossing. This could be a sign of gingivitis, which is reversible, or a more advanced gum disease, which is not. You can get an idea of what might be causing your bleeding gums if you brush and floss with proper technique for 10 days straight. You can't skip a day or else the 10 days reset. And if you truly brush and floss properly for 10 days straight, your gums should stop bleeding. Maybe they were just out of shape from not being stimulated enough. However, if they don't stop bleeding, you need to schedule an appointment at your dental office for an exam and a cleaning to remove the tartar. This is because black can be brushed and flossed off at home, but tartar cannot. So if you have tartar, especially if it's stuck under your gums, the gums won't stop bleeding until that tartar is properly removed at your dental office with either a regular cleaning or a deep cleaning, depending on which one you need. And then after the tartar is removed, after that bacterial irritant is removed, then you can remove the daily plaque that accumulates by simply brushing two times each day and flossing one time each day. To learn more about the differences between plaque and tartar, I'll link that video of mine in the description box below. Number two, persistent bad breath, chronic bad breath, halitosis. It can be a sign of not scraping your tongue daily or having gum disease, dry mouth, cavities, tonsil stones, or other health issues. To find out what's causing your bad breath, first, again, make sure you're brushing two times each day and flossing at least one time each day and tongue scraping daily. If you still have bad breath and you added in the tongue scraping, visit your dental Office. You might have gum disease or cavities. If your dentist can't find anything wrong and you still have bad breath, your next stop would be seeing your doctor and or ENT, an ear, nose, throat specialist to check for tonsil stones or an allergist to see if your sinuses are causing the bad breath or even a GI doctor to check your stomach acids. Number three, tooth sensitivity. Sensitivity to cold foods and beverages could indicate tooth decay, worn enamel, or most commonly receding gums, gum recession. It's super important important to address this sensitivity to prevent further damage. So again, always visit your dental office and let them know where and when you experience sensitivity. I do have a video all about tooth sensitivity and how gum recession is the number one cause and what to do at home until you can see a dentist, which I will link in the description box below. But a quick sneak peek from that video is that sensitivity toothpaste really does help. So try it if you have sensitivity and make sure you're really not brushing too hard. Always use a soft bristled toothbrush and wear a night guard if you think you're clenching or grinding your teeth at night because clenching and grinding only makes gum recession worse. Number four, toothaches. This one is very serious because did you know it's not normal for a tooth to hurt? Not normal. So don't ignore your tooth if it hurts. Also, did you know that cavities usually do not cause pain? Persistent tooth pain or discomfort may signal a cavity, but not until they are either very large or they have turned into a tooth infection or a tooth abscess. If you're feeling pain, it's more likely that tooth is far beyond a cavity. And ignoring these toothaches can lead to more serious health problems. So please schedule your appointment at your dentist's office ASAP if you are having sharp pains at rest, sensitivity to heat, and or if the pain gets worse at night when you're laying down. These are all signs that your cavity has perhaps reached the nerve of the tooth, which creates an infection. I will link my dental abscess video to learn more about tooth infections, as well as my how to get affordable dental care video, especially if dental finances are of concern. And number five, jaw pain while chewing. Discomfort or pain while chewing can indicate various dental issues that may stem from clenching or grinding your teeth. Clenching and grinding, also known as bruxism, can cause cracked teeth, gum recession, like we said before, or problems with dental work. So if your jaw is sore right when you wake up in the morning or your jaw normally clicks or pops and it does not hurt, but you still can hear it happening, it's still worth mentioning to your dentist so they can make sure nothing else is going on in your mouth. Also wearing a night guard when you sleep can help protect your teeth until you can find out the root cause of why you are clenching, grinding, and have jaw pain because you much rather your teeth be grinding through 
plastic instead of grinding through one another, tooth on tooth, chipping themselves, right? Buying a new night guard is easy. Buying new teeth is not. In all, if you notice any of these signs, please let your dental provider know at your next appointment for a proper diagnosis and treatment plan. Regular dental visits can help catch and address these issues early on, preventing more severe problems in the future. And in between your six month dental checkups, it's essential to practice good oral hygiene habits at home. If you're interested in creating the perfect routine at home, make sure to click the link in the description or in the pinned comment below to sign up for my free oral care guide and join thousands of people who have already discovered all of the essential components for an effective oral hygiene routine. This guide is an action plan for preventing and maintaining a happier and healthier smile. And I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe and turn on the notifications if it did. And if you want even more Teeth Talk, you can visit my website, teethtalkgirl.com and hang out with me on Instagram at teethtalkgirl. Peace, love, and teeth.